My name is Teacher Evelyn and I work for VIP Kid and I'm making this video to share with you my current <laughs> puppet collection that I use for VIP Kid, especially for pre-VIP Kid and a little bit for level two. <sighs> my first friend I want to share with you is Lion. Hello, Lion. Hello. Lion, unfortunately, I can't give you a link or tell you where I got him. I'm pretty sure I bought him in some store years ago. I honestly, I found him in a suitcase of things I had saved in my mom's basement. So I couldn't tell you where I got him from. Um, sorry. The other ones, however, I can tell you where I got them from. Um, I'll go in order. These are named Meg and Mike after the curriculum. Our curriculum has... A main girl and a main boy named Meg and Mike. There's a lot of characters, but these are the main ones. And um, Meg is a little girl that always has braided pigtails and usually usually has overalls. You'll notice my puppet does not have overalls. She didn't come with braids in her hair, but I chose to braid her hair to make her more like Meg. And I also chose to sew right here so that the dress doesn't fly up at unexpected times and I made a name tag that says Meg. Um, Mike I ordered along with her and um, I with him I sewed right here to keep his shirt down otherwise I would see skin color and it would look really strange and I glued on a name tag and I sewed on a baby hat and I actually had to adjust the size of the baby hat so I had to sew the baby hat some sew it on his head because Mike always has a backwards hat on in the curriculum. Um, usually a blue hat, sometimes a red hat. So um, if you want to order these two puppets, you'll have to make some alterations if you want them to look like mine, but um, I looked on Amazon for, um, I look. you just look up boy and girl Hispanic puppets and they'll be one of the first ones that pop up. It's $29 for two puppets. They are not high quality puppets, they're low quality puppets, that's why they're cheap. But they work for an online classroom. I This is my most recent puppet. Hello! What's your name? My name is Teacher Sarah. I decided to try my best to find online a puppet that looks like Teacher Sarah from the curriculum. Um, this is close enough for me because there's conversations that t teacher Sarah s has with, sorry, that's the tongue twister. There are conversations that teacher Sarah has with Meg or Mike and it's a part of the curriculum. And I was tired of just using my little ones when I thought I wanna use my big puppets but I need a teacher Sarah to go with it. Um, My family is making um, hilarious background noises, so if you heard any of that, um, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Lastly, but most importantly, this is actually, oh, sorry, I didn't say. Teacher Sarah, I looked online. There's a lot of people that sell this puppet a little bit bigger than this for like $65. Heck no, I'm not going to spend that kind of money. Um, I spent $29. I ordered it from Child Evangelism Fellowship. It's a little bit smaller, but psh, that's fine for me. <laughs> dino is coming from headquarters. And I really want the dino finger puppet. I mean, hand puppet. Sorry. But in time, hopefully I can order it. Um, I ordered it using enough built up hutong points. And I had to log on first thing um, at the correct time, the correct date. And I was able to get one. So he's he is our very special friend from the company. He's our main character with the company. So anyway, a lot of people were asking me how I got my puppets and that's how I got my puppets. I'm also planning on adding a friend or two to the collection in the future. I'm thinking about maybe a dragon, maybe a kitten. Um, we'll see. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.